spend the winter alone, yeah. Cause I don't please fall. I don't please fall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, had to ask a question if you happy, girl I change your mind anytime in this happy world Let's go and kick it, you and me, and see what love unfurls Cause girl, I bet you love some tugging on them lovely curls Hold up a week up after that, believe we started dating My heart was racing, but never felt my time was wasting My mind was chasing, ain't no debating I'm feeling you, and trying to get together, figure out what to do Even after some disasters, we were making it work But never did I ever think that you would do in the dirt Stay cute while you smiling your brand new skirt just happy that we've been together and we never get hurt so say girl why you kick it with them guys all dumb if you ever got some worries one with me all done change the picture that you paint until the paint all gone cause i'm just falling for the artist like your name on some like wonder if you spent the winter all alone yeah cause i don't please fall i don't please fall up made myself a cup of coffee I hope you guys enjoyed that like little day in my life segment just thought it might be fun to switch it up and just do like an all montage kind of segment for a day and don't worry I am gonna fill you guys in on what happened to my nail because I know that looked pretty gnarly but first I just made myself a cup of coffee I think you guys saw when I was there yesterday I went to the Nespresso store and I actually got a new Nespresso holiday flavor they already came out with their holiday flavors this one is the Il Cafe it was the only one that had a decent intensity I like my coffee is very strong very intense so this is the one that I opted to get but the other ones sounded really good there's like an amaretto cookie and I can't remember the other one but they sound really good so if you like flavored coffees and you have an espresso definitely go check that out but Oh, this one's pretty good. So this Il Cafe is supposed to be intense and velvety, which it is, which is what I like about it, because it's very similar to the Arpeggio, which you guys know is my favorite. And it's got wood and cocoa aromas. Again, that's why I like it. It's got cocoa, just like the Arpeggio. So now that I've actually read the profile, not a surprise that I like this one. And it does taste Christmassy. It's kind of like woodsy and stuff. Just like tastes like winter, like a warm winter. Really good. But the main thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was I got my Sephora order in, although wait, I should probably tell you guys what happened to my nail first because I know that that's probably a mystery, but uh, so I got the thumb repaired you guys saw yesterday and it was split right down the middle. I'll put a picture right here to remind you what it looked like, but it was like literally on the skin split. So she glued it just to make sure it would have a little bit more reinforcement and then we actually did dip powder then gel on top so it's got like 
two different nail polish layers on top of it and that was actually a happy accident they just ran out of the color that i wanted in dip and she's like we have it in gel so she was like we can do clear dip then do the gel on top and i was like sure why not let's do it so right now i'm currently sporting both dip and gel on my nails but i really wanted to keep them long but i couldn't because I have started sparring again. For anyone who's new, I do kickboxing and Muay Thai, and I'm not talking kickboxing on the bag. Like, I actually get in the ring and fight. So a friend and I were sparring the other night, and I felt on a left body hook that my nail bent, and I thought it was just like a momentary thing, but then every single time I did any kind of hook or uppercut with my left hand, it hurt more and more and more. And by the end of the round, it was throbbing so bad. I was supposed to do another round, but I had to tell them like, sorry, I'm in so much pain, I can't. I couldn't even get my glove off. Trevor had to take it off for me. Basically like this part had split off and there was a crack down the middle of my nail and there was actually blood coming up. So definitely couldn't have done another round. So I went and I got an emergency fix. I was supposed to get my nail fixed today, but I called first thing in the morning to see if she could get me in. And it feels better, it feels reinforced. So that's what happened with my nail yesterday. In case you were wondering, why the hell my nail looked like a nightmare when she took the dip powder off that's why but anyways like I said my Sephora order came in from the Beauty Insider sale so I wanted to share with you guys what I actually got so the first item is a refill and it's just my Grande Lash MD serum I love this lash serum I did a whole review on it I'm not gonna go too in-depth into it but I fully endorse it this is actually my third tube I'm not fully out of my other one but this is $65 and if I can get it at the discount I will then I got just like a couple samples before we get into like the big juicy stuff I got a little sample of the Victor and Rolf flower bomb perfume I saw that has notes of jasmine in it so I was like I would like to try that because jasmine is my favorite floral scent and how cute is this it's just like a little tiny mini bottle version of it Ooh, that smells really good Ooh, I might have to get the big one of this maybe add this one to my Christmas list because that smells delightful then I got a little hair product sample. I've always wanted to try IGK, specifically their first class charcoal detox dry shampoo. So I saw that I could get a little sample of it for this round. So I got the little mini bottle and we'll see how this works out for me. I've heard really good things about IGK, so I am expecting good things. But now what I actually bought. First off is the Youth to the People Dream Eye Cream. I've just been seeing ads for this everywhere. I hear that's really good. So I'm giving this a try. This has goji stem cell ceramides and a vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. So I can't wait to try this. I just wanna take a look at the consistency really quick. You guys, this is my first Youth to the People product and I just am a sucker for the packaging. I just love it. Here's what the consistency looks like inside. It looks like a very, very rich cream. So I feel like this is gonna be very hydrating on the eyes and can't wait to check it out. Then next up is a palette and I had mentioned that I had wanted the Natasha Denona Glam palette and they sold out of it so fast. It was gone by November 3rd when I put in my first order. I do have a second order for a couple of Summer Fridays products. I ended up getting the Jet Lag Mask and the CC Serum and the Lip Butter, but those aren't scheduled to arrive for like a couple of weeks. They're a little bit backed up at Sephora with orders because it's so busy right now. I was lucky that I got this one this fast, but unfortunately I won't be able to include those in this unboxing, but just now I did get some Summer Fridays products. But instead of the Glam Palette, I ended up getting the Bronze palette. I really just like want to try a full Natasha Denona palette. I have one of the mini ones and I really like the shadows so I wanted to invest in a good size one and these ones for some reason there's this and then the glam palette and then there's one other are only $65. I don't know why these ones are more affordable than the other palettes which are like over $100 but you know I'll take one of these. But here is what it looks like inside just a bunch of very rich browns which is definitely me but I also love these like pops of shimmer in here and then this color I think is really really beautiful. So I can't wait to try this one out. I think I'm gonna do like a Thanksgiving get ready with me makeup look using this palette so if you guys want to see how these shadows perform and everything that should be going up in the next couple of weeks definitely before thanksgiving and then lastly in this order is the stuff that i'm most excited about and i think i'm gonna go ahead and do a first impression on this after the gym when i wash my hair but i had talked about how i wanted the jisoo honey hair oil and after i recorded that video and put it up i saw other videos of people talking about the honey infused hair mask and i was like oh shoot i want that too 
but I ended up seeing that they ended up putting together a little Jisoo holiday set. So I went ahead and I got the set so that I could try out everything that I want. And I was actually debating when I said that I had originally wanted the full size of the Jisoo hair oil. I was like, wait a second, why am I getting the full size if I don't know how good it is? I was thinking maybe I just do like the smaller size, which is only like $46 or something as opposed to 87. But I found this set, which comes with the mini hair oil, which again, this on its own is 46, but this whole set all together is $55. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go with the set. But it comes with the hair oil, and then it also comes with their hair wash, the honey infused conditioner, and then also the honey infused hair mask. This hair mask though looks really, really small. I think I'll only be able to get like two uses out of it because my hair is actually pretty thick. But still, if I end up liking it, then I'll go back and I'll buy the big one. But I'm excited to try this out. I can't wait. I hear so many good things about Jisoo, which I would expect to hear good things about it if it's really gonna be priced at that price point. It better like blow me out of the water. So after the gym, we'll dig into this set and see how everything is. All right, but for right now, I'm in the middle of doing laundry because I need stuff to wear to the gym. It's been a while since I did laundry. So I'm going to get into that, although yeah, I kind of want to see how this is. Just My hair is awful, you guys, just a heads up. But it's pretty dirty, so let's see how this IGK charcoal detox shampoo is. It's probably a waste since I'm about to go to the gym and just sweat, but all right. Let's sit for a second and just rub it in. Ooh, it smells really, really good. The scent is like super fresh. It smells delightful. Huh, okay, I'm, I haven't looked yet at what it looks like, but I do feel like I can feel the product in my hair, which I don't really love. I love the Dove dry shampoos because it just like sinks into your hair and you don't really feel it. But let me try rubbing it in a little bit more. Yeah, I'm feeling like some residue on my hand. It definitely feels like there's something in my hair, but let me see how it looks. Oh. I mean, it, it soaks up the oil really well. Yeah, my hair actually looks super fresh. So it doesn't feel fresh, but it looks super fresh. So I feel like this is a good one when you need like a very, very heavy duty dry shampoo. Like it's been seven days since you last washed your hair and you don't have time to shower, this would be a good one. But personally, I think I'll stick to my Dove dry shampoo, especially since it's a lot more affordable. But still, it's not bad. It's just, I think the Dove one's a better value. All right, so I just got back from the gym, had a little lunch, and now I am about to take a shower and just like a little follow-up on that IGK charcoal dry shampoo. Actually, I think I do like it. It just really threw me off that I could feel it even after I worked it in, but I'm realizing I actually don't mind that that much because then it like means that it's actually in my hair and it's doing its job and it really does make your hair look like a lot cleaner, but I know it's not, and I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair using this Just You kit. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the honey infused hair wash today. And also I'm gonna skip the conditioner, but I am gonna go ahead and use the hair mask. And then after my shower, I actually forgot that I had this PR kit in from Pixie, and I think I wanna use this for my skin. It comes with their brightening perfecter, a lip brightener, under eye brightener, and priming oil. We're just gonna be home today, so I'm gonna like let my skin breathe and just let it be natural all day. But I think I wanna use like these brightening products and see how they end up looking on bare skin.
down to the shower and hopefully you guys don't keep fogging up because I did take a very warm shower. I don't think I mentioned to you guys, it's actually raining this whole weekend. Very rare in Southern California at this time of the year. So especially since I don't really have any plans, it's gonna be a very cozy, rainy weekend in. Although, wait, that's a lie. I have brunch tomorrow with a girlfriend. But other than that, very cozy, stay at home, rainy weekend. But you guys know the drill. I like to try to dry my hair as much as I can in this little microfiber turban. So we'll be getting to this a little bit later once it's dried up a little bit more. But for right now, getting into my skin, I'm gonna go through all of these products and try these out. So the first product here is the Under Eye Brightener. Let me see if there's any info on it. So this is supposed to be a darkness eliminator. And ooh, I like this tip right here. So you can just like apply it directly. So I guess just, ooh. Oh, it's got a little bit of a pigment to it as well. Interesting, okay. So I need to, mm, all my mirrors are like super fogged up. Squeeze out just a little bit. That looks a little dark, but I think it's cause it's peach. There we go. There it is, and then I guess just work it into the skin. Okay, I think I need to use my fingers on this, but. And it says it can be used alone or underneath concealer. But, oh, I should have done one side than the other. Oh, well. But it feels very hydrating. Like, super hydrating. Do my under eyes look brighter? Let's, I'm going to do a little bit more on each side. Whoops, that's a lot. Maybe a little bit up top then. Let's give it a little bit more. Because my actual lids have a little bit of dark pigment on them naturally, so might as well use a little extra and get all up there. Ooh, actually, yeah. I especially notice it on the top lid, but actually, yeah, no, the bottom lid looks brighter too. Oh, this is nice. I've been looking for like a daytime eye cream. This could be really good. That second layer is fantastic. It really totally brightened it up. Wow, oh my God. That actually looks really nice. Wow. Okay, Pixie, I see you. Then this next one is their Tone Correct Brightening Perfector. So this one says it has a vitamin boost for complexion perfection. And this complexion enhancer is supposed to blur and perfect to give the skin a dewy, radiant finish. Use solo or underneath makeup for added complexion perfection. So does this have pigment? No, it's kind of like this white cream with a little bit of graininess. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that in the camera, but there's like some small grains in there and you guys are almost out of memory, so I'll be right back. All right, and we're back and let's go ahead and apply this. Oh, that's really white. All right, I'm gonna do just the bottom of my face. I realize again, I didn't do half and half, but we'll do bottom versus top, but it really does give a very dewy glow. I'm not sure how much that helps me as an oily girl, but if you are dry, that's very, very nice. I mean, it's a very healthy glow. It doesn't look like greasy or anything, but hmm, actually, yeah, no, it's super glowy. That's, that's pretty nice. Pixie's killing it on this so far. Ooh, I can see it on my hands. They're like very glowy from this. It's kind of nice. Like especially for like a no makeup day. Wow. Okay. Well, last up because, you know, I'm just going to keep making me glowy even though I already have a natural glow. I have the Brightening and Balancing Vitamin C priming oil. So it's actually really cool. Like it's all separated in the bottle. I'm assuming I'm supposed to shake it up before I do anything. And this one is supposed to be the last step of skincare and the first step of makeup. So this is supposed to be, I guess, like your primer, but I'm going to try it just like for a bare face. Let's see what it looks like. So if I could shake and that's what it looks like when it's all shaken up. Grab a little bit. Rub it in between my hands and just pat it in. Smells really nice. Very citrusy. Ooh, it doesn't give like too much of like a super shiny appearance. It just feels really nice on the skin. Wow. Feels very, very softening and hydrating and moisturizing. I can see how this would be nice to wear underneath makeup. Are we glowing? Or do we look healthy? Super young and fresh? This collection is really great for the winter, like when your skin is getting dull and stuff. This would be 
wonderful. But the last item in here is this one. This is their lip brightener and this is in the shade Peach Pout. You guys can see it's got like the peach color on the outside and I'm guessing that's the brightener in the middle right there. And it says that the core on this is packed with antioxidant vitamin C. So finish off this no makeup look with a little bit of this. Oh, this is perfect. It gives just like a tiny bit of pigment, just enough to warm the lip up, but like nothing too unnatural or anything. Super nice. Mmm, really hydrating too. And it smells just like all the rest of the products, just a very fresh citrus scent. Not anything overwhelming, but just like light and fresh and fun. But anyways, that is it for the post shower skincare. I am gonna let my hair dry up a little bit. I just got into Watch and Glow. I am aware that it's been canceled at season three, but I am still into it. So I'm gonna go watch a few episodes while my hair dries and then we'll come back up here and try out the infamous Jisoo honey infused hair oil. Okay, I just took my hair out of the hair turban and seeing how it feels from the mask. It feels nice and smooth. It doesn't feel like overly moisturized or anything like it does when I use my Amika hair mask so I think on this one I prefer the Amika one but it's not a bad hair mask my hair like I said looks very smooth very healthy and then for the shampoo I love the smell of it it smells so freaking good but my hair did feel a little bit dry when I used it but it seems to clean it really well which is obviously a good thing but it wasn't like exceptionally hydrating or anything like that so I wouldn't necessarily say to spend that kind of money on a shampoo if you're not going to be like blown out of the water but um, I'm going to go ahead and do like a rough blow dry on my hair because I'm sure the one that we are most interested to hear about is going to be this little guy but I need to do this on damp hair so I'm going to rough dry my hair then put it in and then finish drying and then maybe put a little bit more in because it says that you can use it on both damp and dry hair and just for reference what I sprayed in my hair is like one of my favorites it's the Briogeo Repair Don't Despair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask which I mentioned in my Sephora video but part this Hello, would you like to come in? I have a puppy and a cat coming to keep us company, but oh, excuse you. Okay, dry my hair. Alright, hair is roughly dried, and now to go in with the honey hair oil. Ooh, smells nice. It's actually surprisingly floral. I thought it was gonna be more like sweet, like honey, but take just a few drops that was probably too much but I do have a lot of hair just gonna work it into the ends first and then work it up through the rest of my hair about midway and sorry Trevor's watching TV back there so that's what all that noise is and then just because I have broken hairs in the front of my head I always take just the smallest amount of hair oil just kind of work it through these hairs that are trying to heal and down in the back. Then to finish my hair, I am going to use the Revlon One Step Volumizer like I always do. Just wanted to stop here really quick because I just did the one side and granted this side is still a little bit wet but oh my god my hair is so smooth like look how nice it looks it hasn't looked this good since like it got really damaged with that one bleach round that you know literally cut my hair but wow okay do I really need to spend $87 on a full size bottle? I mean, this is really good. Holy crap. It feels and looks so nice. Wow. I like, I can't stop touching it. It's so smooth. Oh crap, did I just fall in love with a really expensive hair oil? <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my hair. Wow, 
I haven't worn my hair straight since the last time I colored it because it's just looked so frizzy every single time I'm like done blow drying my hair, but it looks so smooth. Oh my God. And it feels so smooth too. It feels really nice. It's still a little bit wet too, but still like, wow, this is really good. Since it is still a little bit wet, I'm going to take just like the tiniest drop because this is expensive and I don't want to use up too much. And I'm actually going to run it right here and then just because I have a lot of flyaways and wow, that helped a ton. I have a ton of flyaways from like breakage from coloring and bleach and stuff, but wow, that actually helped out a lot. Just a little bit more to really finish out the ends just as whatever needs to air dries, but. Okay, I'm gonna, first off, I'm gonna close the bottle. I don't want it to knock over and spill. And honestly, this little tiny size, again, $46 usually for it. And I think that this size is worth it. I think honestly, the full size would be worth it too. But I mean, I can't justify spending $87 at a time on hair oil. 46 I can kind of deal with. And I feel like this is still gonna last me a while because you guys know I only wash my hair once or twice a week. So this can really stretch for me, but I'm so, so impressed. I'm actually like, I'm legit mad at how much I like it because it's so expensive. Wow. Like, I just, I can't get over how soft my hair is. What the hell? Well, shit, I'm officially an expensive hair oil customer. Love that for me. Okay, so it's a bit later at night. I've been watching Glow nonstop and I got Trevor a little surprise, although half is for me. Let's be honest. Oh, someone's following the pizza. Hi. <laughs> I think he's interested in it. <laughs> All right, and I've also been crisping some lettuce since I've been waiting for that so I got some romaine here and then I'm going to be using the Trader Joe's vegan Caesar which I actually just got and I actually like it it's not bad so I'm going with some of that a little parmesan and then I have these croutons from Trader Joe's I love these so much these are their cheese and garlic ones and honestly they're so good Okay, so we're finally gonna have this wine that we got at Costco last week. This is the Apothic Red Winemakers Blend. Trevor loves red blends, so we got that one. And then cookies are currently baking in here. We actually made like a super cookie last night. I'll put a picture somewhere on the screen, but tonight we're just gonna have like regular cookies. Let's run it. 
it back and kick it like we used to Or call me back and tell me something new Now we're off of this beat and I'm spitting acapella hey. Back in the day in school with the fools when I was younger We never skipped class, we were living life waiting on the summer Yeah, we live so fast, it's hard to see the seasons change that goes another would be like if we were dreaming and together we were wishing cause now i'm living in the city and you're back home and all i'm doing is i'm singing yes i'm singing oh i don't feel how i used to anymore anymore i don't hear from you like i used to anymore anymore let's run it back and kick it like we used to with one of my girlfriends from high school. Really, this is my biggest plans this weekend, which I love because a chill brunch or a chill weekend is absolutely perfect. I'm excited because we're going to this place called Toast Kitchen, which is actually three minutes away from my place. I didn't even know it existed. And the menu looks so, so good. I've been reading through the menu during the last couple days and I'm just like, I definitely have my picks lined up but for my outfit today I'm wearing this white sweater from Tilly's you guys might remember it it was like my fall try on haul and then this washed like moto denim jacket that I showed you guys in the last vlog I also you guys can't see I have on my leather leggings from Fashion Nova and then my circus by Sam Edelman boots the Dariel boots the ones that are a dupe for the Prada lug boots but that's my outfit maybe I'll show you guys when I get out of the car super fast because I'll be getting there like right on time I was so scared that I was gonna run super late because I dropped my engagement ring so like the one with the big diamond on it I dropped it in a pile of laundry when I was trying to put it on and I couldn't find it and I was like searching for it but I found it we're all good but yeah I thought that was gonna make me run really really late but this place is literally so close to me that I'm actually just perfectly on time I'm excited to try this place I'll show you guys what I'm ordering and stuff and oh my god where am I supposed to park yikes Okay, I'm sure people think that I'm weird, but I just want to show you guys my outfit. I'm still carrying this because I'm obsessed with it now that I've rediscovered it. But here's the full outfit. I don't know if you guys can see shoes, but there they are. And it's time to go get some brunch. So Trevor's leather jacket just came in and he's gonna try it on for us, my friend's here. But he's gonna try on his new leather jacket for us. I'm going to try on the new leather jacket before you go. <laughs> are you being a good boy? Yes, you are. No, that's the one that you picked. I out of didn't say it was. Would you have bought him the one you didn't? <laughs> she actually did. And it didn't fit, but it was nice. I got the largest time for you. Yeah, it fits the shoulders. Oh, that was good. Good. That was nice. Yeah? yeah you like it? That way. Yes! Look at you. Very fancy, Trevor. <laughs> 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 I 
Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Looks good. This will be good for Arizona. So it's later at night and we're just kind of like winding down. It's really windy and cold outside right now. What are you yelling about? I'm talking to the camera. Okay. Something again? What? You yelled something again? All I heard was, again? I'm almost drunk or something. <laughs> I'm gonna have some tomorrow for school. Gotcha. So, since it's cold and windy outside, I'm gonna have some chili. 18 million airheads. <laughs> Shut up, we just went to the liquor store and grabbed some snacks. And I got four airheads, not 18 million, because they were on sale. I don't see the difference. <laughs> oh, okay, these are dead. But this chili recipe, in case you were wondering about it, will be on my next one I eat in the day, which I think is the video that's going up after this one. So if you want this recipe, it'll be there. But look how good it looks. What would you rate this chili? Are we doing? I'm thinking tomorrow, so I'm gonna let it dry out. We're doing roots tomorrow. What would you rate this chili? Though? Is this enough for you? I'm, yeah, that's fine. Can I get a little bit more? Or? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I'm on portion control. All right. Uh, seven, eight out of ten. Right. He liked the red chili better. I like them equally. Red chili with solid eight. Oh, gotcha. This one was seven to eight. And that, the only problem with that one is that like it runs out of broth, so. Luckily, I have extra broth. Oh my god, the cat. Excuse you, sir. Get out of here. Thank you. enjoyed hanging out with me on this chill weekend trying out some Jisoo products and stuff but for right now I'm gonna eat some dinner we're gonna try to pick something to watch and I will see you guys in the next video